Hi everyone, welcome back to Tennisshare. One of the biggest new hardware features this year isn't a charging port, but an action button. It's a new physical button on the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max next to the volume buttons, and it takes the place of the long-standing mute switch. By default, it does the same thing as a mute switch. The special thing is, it's a programmable button that can be customized to perform a variety of tasks. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the new action button on the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max. How to use the action button on iPhone 15 Pro. To customize the action button, go to settings and find action button. It's super solid. Here, you can go through and pick the function of the button from a list of predefined actions. Normally, you can view the current status with a short press. For example, I haven't turned on silent mode yet. Long press to trigger the action button function and you can turn silent mode on or off. Or you can have it switch you in and out of a certain focus mode, like do not disturb or work, or you could pick whichever other one you want. You could also have it auto-launch the camera and pick whichever camera mode it opens. And I found that short presses and long presses perform different tasks. For example, here I set the operation button to photo. Press it briefly to take a photo and press it long to start recording. Toggling your flashlight on and off in a dark room won't require a tap on your iPhone screen. You can simply set the action button to turn your flashlight on or off. Or you can quickly open up voice memos. It's useful when you're on the go and don't have to open the Notes app every time. Open the Magnifier app. The last option is amazing. It allows you to trigger a series of shortcuts. It can technically do almost anything, including basically launching any app on your phone. To open an app via the action button, open shortcuts. Tap the plus sign, select open app action, choose the app and tap done. Next, choose this shortcut from the action button settings. Well done. I also found a very useful feature which is to quickly turn on the orientation lock. By tapping the plus sign on the shortcut, I can select the set orientation lock. Add it to your phone and choose it on the action button. This way, I don't have to open the phone every time to select it. Of course, if you want to create or download any other shortcuts, tap gallery on shortcuts or head to the shortcut gallery website. I prefer to go to the shortcut gallery website because the classification above allows me to see it more clearly. For example, I want to quickly open the calculator. Just click on the calculator and tap get shortcut. Now you can try to call it using the action button. We can also use it to display the charging time, get public transport, and more. You can now set various accessibility settings using the action button, like zoom in, voiceover, text-to-speech, etc. In the end, my favorite feature of the action button is its ability to launch specific applications. So I can quickly start listening to music anytime. What's more, I can quickly activate Siri. This means that I can perform any task I want with the smart assistance of Siri, be it dialing your close ones or jotting down a note. Via iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max action button, you have the freedom to be creative to perform any action you want. That's it. If you have a favorite action button usage, please leave a message in the comment area. I will be happy to receive your feedback. Subscribe to us if it helps. Don't forget to share videos with your friends. 
See you in the next video.